here we are. This is what I love about the Rainbow Kitchen. There's this wonderful pot here that anybody and everybody can put money into. Any change you have, and it's amazing how many poor homeless people put change in their donations. Every time you come in, you're going to find different breads. Lots of smiles. And you never know what else. Today, there are going to be folks who are happy because they're, they're going to be able to bake some pies. I might even have to grab one of those. You folks. Um, here we are at the Rainbow Kitchen. One of the uh, most loved kitchens in Victoria, say, a lot of street community. And here is Sherry, who will introduce herself. Uh, Peter. Peter, thank you, sorry. Uh, Peter, one of the favorite chefs here. <laughs> and if you just want to introduce yourself, and I'll let you go from there. Okay. Hi, I'm Sherry Westgate. I'm the kitchen coordinator here at the Rainbow Kitchen. Um, and this is Peter. He's our, our, one of our special cooks. We have a different cook five days a week. We started out five years ago. We served 40 meals a, once, one day a week. We served 40 meals and the people stayed the night and they had breakfast in the morning and that was it. And today we serve five days a week. Um, we serve approximately 32,000 plates of food in a year. And um, we have a zero tolerance for any abusive language or violence or rudeness. Um, we expect respect for each other, for ourselves and for each other and for our building. And everyone is just wonderful. They, they pick up after themselves and if someone gets out of line they're very wonderful and they help each other. And um, we're trying to create an atmosphere of family here and friendship. People come in, we open a little bit early so they can have coffee and and get to know each other. And I had one gentleman come in and, and thank me and he said, he said this is the first time he's been anywhere to eat. And people have said, hi, come on over and, and sit with us. Come and sit with us. And uh, one young man, he, he said he left home at 13. And he's about 23 now. And he said it's the first time he's had a full plate of food, nutritious food like his grandma made. Hmm. Yeah. Courageous. Yeah. Um, we operate the kitchen solely on donations, um, financial donations also. But we have a little garden out in the back that we we grow our own vegetables and donations supplement that so that we're able to provide balanced meals for Excuse our Excuse me, may guests. I trouble you for... No problem. We're just recording. Yeah, thanks. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> um, saying, let me just start again. No, you are saying about it's the, the nutritional meals and that's, for me, that's a part of the reason why I love this the meal. It feels healthier. It feels like yeah. there's greens in it, there's live food in it, not just yeah. uh, the recycled stuff. No, it's so, all... And a lot of people appreciate the garden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, we always serve uh, a meat product, uh, a grain product, vegetables, and we always have delicious desserts. Compliments of some of our donors. We have the local stores donate their bread to us. Um, should I don't know if I should. Peter, is, cool. is it Peter? <laughs> Peter. I think it's really cool that you, uh, I'll keep you in there too, that you are a Buddhist, that you come here and that you also cook with meat. And to me, you know, people sometimes forget that we can uh, respect other people and still have our own values and our own, you know, decisions about not eating meat. And I really respect that because you, you probably understand maybe that a lot of people need it. But maybe you can talk about how did you come here to the Rainbow Kitchen? <laughs> well, I came here almost five years ago. I came to learn Spanish. And find out I'm a too old and too late to remember all the from the cross. And then I find out, oh, there's some a Rainbow Kitchen about. It just started 
Mm -hmm. So I find out, oh, yeah, I, I can do something for that because I'm the, uh, uh, before I come to Canada, I'm the hospitality uh, teacher. So I, I mean, work for the hotel more than uh, 23 years, I believe. And do lots of experience for not only cook, but also F&B manager, hotel, room department manager, and te that's why I teach in the college about this. And, and first of all, I find out the food just like we're talking about, all products, too much meat. And they're this vegetable and the Buddhism, I think vegetable is very, very important. So when that time we don't have too much, too many, uh, uh, too much, those uh, stores, people want to donate uh, vegetable. And Did you help get the garden going? Um, that is later on. Okay. Yeah. First of all, I believe I, I in charge Friday, I buy vegetable come from my own pocket. <laughs> the first and second year. And then I, I, I think uh, some of the vegetable donate is not that good. So I, that's why I suggest we should use the, the space to, to, to establish a, a organic vegetable garden. I think that is my idea, yeah. <laughs> and we have several good uh, uh, volunteer and church. The father of church, they just respect me and they love me very much. And I, I think I earn lots of uh, respect here and through the the work. And so we have a, our own uh, vegetable garden. Even I. Encourage if all the church can grow the vegetable. Even I was recognized by a father. What is it, Davy? No, Oprah. He told him we meet at another church. The father in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. I visited him, talking about three three hours. Very important. Change the flower bed. <laughs> Cool, that's a good idea. I, I think it's important. More people are talking about live food too and garden food. And uh, we'll, we'll put that out as a challenge to the other amazing churches across Canada and Victoria to start having gardens. And I bet you a lot more are doing it. And yes. thank you for showing that leadership and showing how we could have diversity under one faith, diversity of faith still come together, you know. Um, and I appreciate that things aren't pushed on people. I like the way the prayer is done here, you know, for some reason. I'm, I, I don't identify as Christian anymore. I see it more as creator, more, you know, and I respect that. So, uh, but thank you so much. I think we're done. And they'll edit out my voice. Yeah. <laughs> Unless there's something else you want to say. Um, I, uh, how, I how's the funding going? How, are you, do you need any help funding? Do you need more people to come by help and maybe more folks like yourself, sir, who want to come and help? Cook at kitchens because I, I bet you you're volunteering. Yes, uh, I think so. We need oh, more I think I should volunteers. Say that, yeah, go for that, it. Um, all of us here at the Rainbow yeah. Kitchen are volunteers. None of us get paid. Not not one person yeah. gets paid. We love what we're doing. We have between eighty and a hundred volunteers that come here. Okay. But I would just like to say that yeah. um, the guests who come here, we have um, single families. We have seniors, yeah. we have um, people who have maybe just lost their job right now and, and they're coming for help. We have, and uh, we're just open to anyone who needs help and would like to have a meal with us. Here's another question I have, and did you want to say anything either? I think so, so we need more volunteer for the yeah. vegetable year. Yes. Okay. And then kitchen. Yeah. yeah, more volunteers in the vegetable yard. Yeah, that's yeah. very important. Right on. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was great. <laughs>